Hello friends, let's get started with the second problem of push down automata and the question over here says L equal to 0 raised to n, 1 raised to 2n where n's value is greater than equal to 1. So friends, before I start the video, I want you to think a while as to what is going to be the logic for this problem. So just pause the video for a second, think about the logic and see whether it matches my logic. Okay, so having come back, if you look at the problem, it says L equal to 0 raised to n, 1 raised to 2n. To solve with the logic, I say the solution is going to be, my logic says, I say why not for each 0, I say push 2x on the stack and for each 1 pop 1x from the stack. So since it is of the form 0 raised to n, 1 raised to 2n, let us consider n is equal to 3 over here that gives me 0, 0, 0 and 3, 2, just 6 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have a stack over here which has R at the bottom. I say for first 0, push 2x on the stack. For second 0, push 2x on the stack. For third 0, push 2x on the stack. For first 1, pop 1x. Second 1, pop 2nd x. Third 1, pop 3rd x. 4th one, pop x, 5th one, pop x, 6th one, pop x and after that if it is epsilon and r, I say it will accept it. So this logic is working fine. Let's try to implement the logic. Now friends, when I come to implementation, my implementation will by default say first 0, remaining zeros first one and remaining ones followed by the last thing which is going to be my last which concludes my push down automata. So these are the five things that I am going to have over here. So let's get started with the implementation now. So I have over here input as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Starting with del, I am currently in state q0, input symbol is 0 and let me draw the stack over here. So this is my stack, bottom is r and input symbol is 0, stack top is r. What am I going to do on 0? Push to x. So now I say since the operation is push operation, no state change is required, above this r push to x. So in the stack, let me draw the similar effect. I have 2x on the stack now. Going ahead. I say I am in state q0. This time I am going to receive one more 0 and the stack top is not r but the stack top is currently x. Since the previous operation was pushed and this operation is again a push, no state change is required. Therefore, I go to state q0 again and what will be done now? I'll be pushing something on something. Now, what is that on which my two x's are going to be pushed? One thing is sure that my two x's are going to be pushed, but they are going to be pushed about what? Now, you will be saying that it will be pushed about x. No, it will be pushed on the previous 2x. So as I told over here, we are interested in the transitions. What was the previous push? What is the current push? So previous push was 2x. Therefore, we write 2x over here and current push is another 2x and we write it over here. As simple as that. So this is for my first zero. And this logic you can work out is going to work for all the remaining zeros. So if this is going to work, we are sure that for the second zero, two x's will be pushed. For the third zero, another two x's will be pushed, right? And for the first time, my q0 is going to take as input one. So I am in state q0. Input symbol is one. Stack top is x. What is the logic saying? 
the moment I receive the one pop from the stack and since it is the first pop operation we are going to have a state change therefore I say go to the state q1 and we are going to perform pop so nothing has to be shown over here comma epsilon and this I denoted as my first one going ahead currently this is being popped out and I am in state q1 input symbol is my second one and the stack top is still x now what do we have to do when the input symbol is one I have to pop do I need a state change no because the previous operation was a pop therefore no state change is required and I am in state q1 only and I perform the pop operation once again now this is going to be for my remaining funds right so if this thing is going to recursively execute we know that for this one this x will be removed for this one another x for this one one more x for this one one more x and for the last one another x and i'll be having a epsilon left over here so now when i say i'm in state q1 input symbol is epsilon stack top is r if that is the condition i can say okay my pushing and popping has been done perfectly i can now go to the final state so i say go to the final state and do not touch anything on the stack therefore it remains r over there and this i call it as my last right so let us label these rules my first second third fourth and fifth you need not write the rules as numbers in the exam these are simply transition function i am writing these numbers one two three four five only because when i explain you i want you to understand which rule i am using in the examples so let's get started with the example friends you know how to draw the transition diagram right you have to simply write 0 comma r slash xxr then you have to write 0 comma x slash x x x x so on and so forth consisting of only three states so let me directly dive into the examples now so friends the first example rather i'll be doing only an example over here not more than one example so i am in state q0 let us assume the input is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and the stack top is r now q0 on receiving a 0 when the stack top is r as per rule 1 remain in q0 what i have is two zeros six ones followed by x x r then q0 on 0 when the stack top is x using the rule 2 i say remain in q0 i have single zero followed by six ones on the input that is one 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 followed by we are going to have x x r and double x pushed above it then i have q0 on receiving zero when the stack top is x using rule 2 remain in q0 i have six ones and two x's pushed above the four x and a r going ahead i am in q0 input is first one and the stack top is x using my rule three i say go to state q1 state change i have five ones left and since x is removed i have five x's left and a r by now i am very sure you might have concluded the problem so just for the sake of completing it let me do it so i say q1 on 1 when the stack top is x remain in state q1 using my rule number 4 1 1 1 1 over here x x x x r going ahead q1 on 1 when the stack top is x using rule 4 three ones followed by three x and a r then i have q1 on one when the stack top is x using rule one q1 two ones followed by x x r then we have q1 on one when the stack top is x so that gives me q1 one left over here and x r the last transition 
I have Q1 on 1 when the stack top is R using my rule number 4, remain in Q1, no input left and the stack top will be simply R. Lastly, Q1 on epsilon when the stack top is R using my rule number 5, I say that go to the final state. What is left on the stack is nothing. Therefore, you write over here epsilon and R remains over here and I say accept this particular input. Right? So that's how we solve this problem. Similarly, you can also consider an example which doesn't fall in the category and see that it is not going to be accepted by the push down automata. So friends, with this, we complete the problem. See you in the next problem. Thank you.